Palm Springs, California. This desert city offers such a diversity of experiences for any traveler, from snow-capped mountains to beautiful landscapes perfect for hiking, a vibrant nightlife, and of course, natural hot springs all around for you to enjoy. There are ample free camping spots all around the Palm Springs area. We decided to stay in a tiny home community just outside the city. Where we stayed was complete with natural hot spring fed pools and hot tubs, a fitness center, Wi-Fi, and all of that was just $27 a night because it is so easy to find overnight camping and it's free. So we just made it to Jupiter Beach, Florida and we're gonna be camping over here. It's a really nice spot, it reminds us of the PCH. On our road trip from Maine to Key West, it was really hard to find good free camping spots right along the water, which is why we like Juno Beach so much. This was another reason why this spot is so good because my pillow is right here. Uh, it's just really peaceful. This is Dakla, Morocco. Dakla is all the way about 600 miles south of Golmin, which is the bottom of all the towns in Morocco. So you gotta follow it all the way down through the disputed territory of Western Sahara. It'll be a very long desert road that's one lane going all the way to the peninsula, but you don't wanna miss it. Yeah, and what's so cool about Dakla is it's a massive bay. It's world-class for kite surfing. And I was riding all over the bay. Iceland! Eamon and I had the opportunity to rent a camper over there for about 10 days and it was just magical. We actually drove around the entire ring road, which was moving pretty quick, but it is doable. And we were there during the summer solstice. So around June 21st, they have what they call the midnight sun, which is essentially 24 hours of daylight. But get going and save up some pennies. It's not necessarily the cheapest destination and it's getting more and more busy every year. If you're an adventure enthusiast, I would highly recommend Iceland. We got up to everything from snowmobiling on a glacier to rock climbing on ice if that's possible. The best part about having a van with you is you can pull over for a snack any time of the day as well as catch a few Z's. Good night, Iceland. <laughs> so we highly recommend Iceland. Carolina. North Carolina is very popular because it's just a beautiful state to camp in. Got the Great Smoky Mountains and you got the Outer Bank. You know, so you got ocean and you got mountains and you got everything in between. North Carolina is a beautiful place to live the van life or live off the grid for that matter. As a matter of fact, the Asheville area, mostly the woods around Asheville, North Carolina, are filled with hippies and people living off the grid. The hippie lifestyle and living off the grid sounds very appealing to me if it wasn't for one problem. I need a legit shower, not, you know, taking a bath in a creek someplace. I gave that up when I left the army.